So I want to show you guys what I see on News Align. I'm not going to tell you which students these are, but I can look in here and I see a bunch of different things. I see the average time for this student is 25 minutes on an article. Um, the average quiz grade seems to be 81%. And this shows that uh, the different articles, the date that they did it, the level of the article, and the percent that they have. But what I'm finding is if I dig in down here, Okay, and I look at an article. So I see that this student did comics are for kids. And it looks like they got 100% on it. But wait a minute, they were only in there a minute. How can that be? So I look over here and I see these are the questions in this one. And there can be anywhere from four to eight questions. Um, but I know they didn't answer question number one, question number two. And this is what the idea, what the questions are about. They did answer question number three. They didn't answer question number four. Number five, they answered question number six, but not seven or eight. Now, what that the reason they get 100 is because of the two questions they answered, they got 100. Okay? So I need you guys to understand that you can't do that. You need to answer all the questions. And... In order to answer a question, that means when you read the article, and I'm going to try and get into an article. So I'm going to pause right here and do that. Give me a second. So here is an example of the type of highlighting I should see. So it looks like some is in yellow, some is in green. So I said yellow was for interesting information. The green were more facts. And then there's other colors if you want to remember something, right? But this is, your highlighting should look something like this, okay? Unfortunately, I want to show you some examples of some others. So, same article. Oh, person starts to highlight. Oh, no, no highlighting. Um, and so, also, I know that that person didn't complete the um, quiz. So, without highlighting, you're not going to know you know, the information. It's not going to help you when you go back to look for stuff. So when I go back here and I look at that same student, trick or treat, they got a 75%, but they were in it for less than 30 seconds. And it's because they answered one question that they got right and a second question that I don't know if they got it right or wrong, but they didn't answer any of these other questions. So that's what you're focusing on today. You're not starting new articles. You're going back in and finishing any that you started already. Okay? I hope this was helpful.